Are you ready? Yeah. There was something in there with him. Thinking up these kind of, these, these plots. I mean, where, where did you get these ideas from? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think we're just attracted to this sort of stuff. This sort of... Really messed up childhood. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> yeah. Um... You know, when, when film festivals would roll around to Melbourne, we would go out and see a lot of the, the, the newest and greatest horror films out of Japan, out of Spain. There's just something about our personality that's really drawn to these darker horror films and thrillers. Yeah. So for, for, for you guys, like, as individuals, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Yes, I do, but I haven't seen one for myself. Okay. And have you had a experience, or...? He has, but he doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> I like to say, I want to say no. And the reason these disturbances, they followed you to a new home, is because it's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. The script is kind of like, you know, the young boy and then there's like demons and they're looking to find, you know, this body to kind of enter for themselves. If you two were demons, whose body would you go for? Hmm. Interesting. Many different ways to answer. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> have a good time. <laughs> I, um... Maybe I shouldn't have jumped at that one so quickly. Yeah. Um, maybe I should have and what would you do if you were Scarlett Johansson? Um, this is PG rated. I don't want to get into it. How do you know it's PG? It's for online. I'd go, uh, <laughs> I'd jump into Ryan Reynolds' body and then go <laughs> fuck the shit out of James. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, now who's fucking who, buddy? <laughs> this is what you did to my script. <laughs> I want to leave. I want to leave this house. <laughs> what is it? If you was a ghost, who would you go and haunt? If I was a ghost, oh, wow. Who would I haunt? Who, who deserves haunting? You always have to watch yourself because you're like, oh, God, we're promoting a movie. We can't offend those red state people. See, yeah, I, I think I would haunt, like, a comedian. Like, Ricky Gervais would be so oh, funny. Ricky Gervais. Wouldn't it be the, it was so much fun. Because he doesn't believe in that kind of stuff, so it would be extra fun to just uh, see what, you know, he, him finally go, oh, there is afterlife. <laughs> That could be cool. Yeah. And that may how would change a lot of his uh, material, so. Sure. Who would you haunt? <laughs> <laughs> Who would I? Oh, let me think, let me think. I'm not, I'm going to get back to you on that one. Yeah. I mean, but making these scripts and, you know, like, the store and just kind of thinking it up and things like that, do you ever get called weird? Um, we get called weird regardless, so <laughs> might as well, might as well do it. And make money from it. Um... No, I mean, you look at Lee and I, you know, like, uh, when people meet us, they expect us to be uh, really scary-looking guys covered in tats or whatever, right? We cannot be any more conservative-looking. Yeah, um, Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, you know, we're very, you know, very straight, conventional um, people. You just can't see my tattoos because I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> if, I take, if I take these clothes off, I look like an etch sketch pad. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, we hang out with with people in in LA who are way into the horror scene. So comparative to them, we actually seem pretty normal. You know, we were very conscious in, in a lot of way, uh, very consciously setting out to make Insidious not like Saw. So um, it's not a blind guts movie. It's not about torturing people or anything like that. Um, uh, but at the same time, we still bring that sensibility that people love in Saw to Insidious, which is, you know, a, a movie that you watch that has an interesting plot twist and turn, mm -hmm. and, uh, and ultimately we just want it to be a scary film. Yeah. I mean, we, we love horror, but we just don't want that to be our one, uh, our one thing, you know? It'd be good if um, our tombstone doesn't say, the horror guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be uh, too bummed out if my epitaph was the saw guy, you know, because yeah. it's better than nothing, but I spent the oh, last I mean, you know, couple of years working on films in, in different genres. <laughs> 
um, you just haven't seen them yet, so hopefully we're Because sitting... they'll never get made, because yeah. they're not horror films. Well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're lingering in development hell. Because with like, horror movies, they're very hit or miss. Right. They're either good or they're not. And, you right. know, you've done the, the, the Saw franchise, which is, you know, fantastic, and right. every single one's got a different plot or anything like that. What would you say is the scariest horror movie that you two have seen? Wow. For me, it's probably still The Shining. Shining. If I had to say the single most scary horror film, because um, it can still scare me now as much mm -hmm. as it did when I first saw it, which is always a great test that it yeah. continually scares you like that. Um, for, for me, I, I like to kind of break it down a bit more, you know, like there's scary scary and then there's suspenseful scary. Yeah. Suspenseful scary for me kind of um, is more like Jaws. I find Jaws so <laughs> suspenseful, you know, like when they're on the boat yeah. and the sharks attacking them. Uh, man, that terrified me, you know. Um, scary, scary, um, moody, scary, I should say. I find films like The Sixth Sense, The Others, yeah. to be um, to be sublimely made movies, you know, in, in that in that in those right. subgenre. The Orphanage was a great one that was released pretty recently. I, I loved that. It was a, a Spanish a Spanish kind of haunted orphanage film. Because the kids, the, the kids make it scarier, I think. Yeah. I mean, they, they, it freaks me out a little bit with the kids. Like, I'm sitting there and this kid's just like walking around and, you know, pushing everyone up against the things. You know, <laughs> that freaks me out the most. Kids but, and old people. And old people. <laughs> and like, with, like, um, like with, with Insidious, you've left it very open at the end. Have you got a second script? Well, we could say we, we haven't actually thought about a sequel for this film yet. We don't have any script for, for one. Um, because the ending doesn't necessarily warrant a sequel, right? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because a lot of people said to us with Saw, oh, wow, you left the ending fairly open. And we thought that we had literally and figuratively the door. shut the door on it. Then, of course, the producer said, turns out you hadn't. <laughs> that <laughs> look, door, look, the that door, door can still be open. open. Yeah. We just open and we're like, like no, 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 it's shut. And they're like, no, we found a way. It's a jar. <laughs> and uh, pushed it aside. But, but... We don't really go into things thinking about sequels just because we still feel so new to the business and we're kind of nervous and superstitious about a film we make. So I think it would take a lot of gravitas to be like, right, that one's in the can, let's think about the sequel. Mm -hmm. a, a sequel is only warranted if it's successful and we've still got a couple of weeks until this film comes out. So, um, yep. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was a great <laughs> film and, you know, oh, thank you. it definitely made me uh, close my eyes a few times. But, uh, guys, thank you very much. No for worries, time, thank Bro, you. Thanks to you so much, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for talking you. to thank us. You, man.